Hello and welcome back. So today I am heading off to the Roma. It's the Friday afternoon. I'm running a little bit late. I had a bit of a disaster of a morning, but it's fine. Um, we should be in Cardiff in a couple of hours. So uh, let's get on the road. Well, we're here. It only took three hours, so it took an hour normal. Blah, 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 blah. It took an hour more than usual, but we are here. So let's have a look. I think it's all quite standard stuff: bed, table, TV, bathroom. I do like this hotel a bit better, it's nicer than this, the bigger rooms than the previous one, but there we go. I'm going to go find myself some food today. Good morning, we're here at the Royal Mint, it's a bit windy so I might have to speak up a bit. Um, I've got absolute coins with me, I did oversleep so my bad. But we're here, it's fine, it's cool, so let's go in. Well that's the tour done again, so we have a look at the coins that have been designed here. Very cool. A cute little tree. Save us. Very pretty. There we go. I forgot to mention uh, in my video, I'm taking along a Christmas stocking and I've got a 50p in here, which I'm going to get coin tubers to guess what it is whilst we're at the Royal Mint and I will reveal that it is. 2018's Flopsy Buddy. Of course, Team Flopsy had to be Flopsy Buddy, didn't it? Right, so my first concession, I've got Bungle from Bungle Collects Coins. You've got 30 seconds to figure out what the coin is. What are you thinking? Feels like a 50 pence. Is it, is it, is it, uh, is it, is it, UK, is it a UK coin? Of course, yeah. Yeah, okay, so it's a 50p. Oh, I've only got one hand as well. Quite hard to do this. <laughs> oh my word, that's a queen side, I think. We smiled at that. Ten seconds. <laughs> feeling this coin. Oh, Benjamin Bunny. Okay. 30 seconds after my hand goes in. Now we've got absolute coins next, so there we go. Hang on, is it a British coin? Yes. Are your hand small enough to fit in? <laughs> <laughs> what are we thinking? I'm thinking it's sadistic. Who do those? <laughs> got ten seconds. Team GB. Okay. So we've got Lady M next. On, off you go. Let's find it. What are we thinking? Uh, not an awful lot at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Oh, it's not as easy as last time when somebody said, oh, well, that's the, the obverse and that's You've got the reverse. 10 seconds. Oh my word. Oh, genuinely not a clue. Uh, I'm going to go in the Britannia. So next we've got total coins. 30 seconds. Starts now. <laughs> what are you thinking? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult, isn't it? With five seconds. Flopsy bunny. <laughs> Well, we're back from the mint. We've just had a drink. Absolute coins, bungle collects, total coins, Lady M. All of, all of us, we're going into Cardiff for some food. Well, here we are, the Royal Mint shop in Cardiff. Look at all the shiny things in this cabinet. Maybe nice. A bit on the pricey side, though. So just about to leave the Royal Mint shop and very kindly they've donated us all a snowman bunk pack. So we came to the card shop and Absolute Coins and Bungle Sweet talked their way into a bunk pack each which is really really kind of them so I'm very very grateful for them. They don't want to appear on camera but an awesome thanks to the guys at the Cardiff Royal Mint shop. So we just had some dinner and we've got some awesome uh, snowmen 50p bunks which were very kindly given to us by the guys at the Royal Mint shop in Cardiff. We've all signed them so you've got Absolute Coins, myself, Total Coins, Bungle Collects and Lady M 
and they're all going to be giveaway prizes on our uh, respective channels as well so stay tuned for them uh, to be in a chance for winning some Christmas lights up here we're on a wild goose chase for a pub with videos apparently that is a principality st stadium down there so back on another Royal Mint tour and Atlix Troublemaker Blondons here from, from Twitch we're trying to get the gold bar out Making a razor. We'll shave a bit off and take it with us, won't we? It's so heavy. One of these days we'll be able to take it home. Not today though. So then back from the Royal Mint now, I had an absolutely amazing weekend, so a massive thank you to all of the um, coin tubers, the viewers, the subscribers that came along to say hi. It really did make it an awesome, awesome evening and it was uh, what well, weekend. It was great to be able to go out into Cardiff as well and enjoy a bit of Cardiff, which I haven't been able to do previously because I've been recording videos um, when I haven't been at the Mint. But that is what I went to get. Primary uh, reason for going to the Mint is to get the new Strike Your Own, which is the Snowman. Uh, 2019 it's a lovely lovely design and there it is in all of its glory now I did go twice I went on the Saturday and the f uh, Sunday so uh, I have got two uh, I've not got plans for the second one yet it probably will be a giveaway sometime in the future um, but I'm going to keep it with the spare Wallace and Gromit I've got and I've got another, a, a few other spare of the older Strike Your Owns um, but obviously one's for my collection and I'll be going up again and it changes, it changes 1st of January um, I don't know what it's going to be yet but it looks like from the, their Twitter feed it's going to be a £2 coin maybe which is not what I was expecting it to be uh, I thought it would be the 2020 Britannia 50p um, but it's going to be exciting whatever it turns out to be I'm just not sure how long it's going to be for because the, obviously the last three have changed uh, in a month uh, a month a month of being the strike your own so whether this one is only there for a month or whether it's gonna be there for a bit longer I'm not sure so as soon as I get more clarity on that I'll be sure to, to um, uh, let you guys know when I've got that that trip planned but uh, a whole bunch of people gave me a whole bunch of awesome stuff oh I did also buy myself a fridge magnet I get a fridge magnet every time I go save the sixpence because I love the sixpence so I got that one as well um, so Mike came all the way from the Netherlands messaged me asking to do a trade for some uh, some UK coins and in return, gave me these two five euro coins from the Netherlands, which is stunning. I like the little, like, they're like the size of a debit card that they're on. So we've got this was a hundred year of aviation in the Netherlands, and this was Operation Market Garden, which is very cool. So he messaged me prior to coming along, because obviously it's a long way to come from the from the Netherlands, isn't it? So it was, it was awesome seeing you there as well, uh, spending. We spent most of the day on Saturday to, uh, as a big group of us, so it was awesome getting to know you, and having a chat with you, having a few drinks and, and a meal with you guys. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for them. Um, he also then, out in the Netherlands, had two pennies from the year 2000, unbelievably. So, we need to get them into the pot, and Mike's name, up onto the board. Now then, speaking of pennies, Steve from Leicester, who has been there for the majority of the times I've been to the Royal Mint now, and it's great seeing you every time you come up, brought a whole load more pennies from the year 2000. That's what, one, two, three, four, well, one, two, three, four, five and a half bags. I reckon Steve probably has the top spot now. Not that there is a leaderboard, but <laughs> if there was, I reckon that Steve would be on the top spot, but I will get those into the pot after the video. I think the video will, this video is going to be long enough without me adding all those pennies in an addition. Um, the very kind um, Jonathan, again someone else that's been there for the Royal Mint trips uh, whenever we've been up there. Uh, I did mention in my last video that I didn't realise they did a Wallace and Gromit fridge magnet and I was kind of gutted that I didn't get it last time so he very kindly pop back and grab me one because he's local, more, more, more local than me and um, I got me the ones and go at fridge magnets so thank you very much Jonathan again it was great spending a bit of time with you um, at the mint as well um, so this is turning into like its own little PO box video in, in of itself and uh, then Craig and um, Alana came along and she gave me this cute little um, smarties a little bird and a, a imagine a Christmas card 
Ah, there we go. It's my first Christmas card as well. Uh, it says, Dear Christopher Collects, one real penny to help you on your way. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and keep up the good work and effort you put into your videos each time you upload. Uh, I look forward to watching all your videos which will pop up in 2020 from Alana. Oh, well, thank you so much, Alana. Again, it was lovely meeting you, well, seeing you again. Um, we've, we've met a couple of times now, so it was great to see you at the Mint again, and I'm sure you had a fantastic uh, time there as I did. Um, I've got some ball bits that are from Bungle. Bungle's given me some pennies as well from the year 2000, which is very, very awesome. And a massive thank you, Bungle. Uh, we also traded, you'll see very soon, I've traded him a thousand pounds of 50p's for a thousand pounds and two pound coins, hoping that um, the northern pennies, uh, 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 the northern two pound coins uh, bags have got some comedies in because he's had some luck with them. So fingers crossed and you'll see that video, uh, well, the first that next Monday and the following Monday, it'll be both bags that I got from Bungle. But he also gave me this, uh, which I'm not sure what it is, so we'll have a look. Star Wars. Star Wars trivia card game. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bungle and Lady M. That's very, very kind of you. Very thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. We, we actually do some um, tr uh, some trivia games on my Discord server from time to time. Completely unscheduled. It just happens every now and again. So, massive thank you, Bungle. And then lastly, a little, a little care package from the very kind Total Coins. Um, some more pennies from the year 2000 so big thank you for them and then you surprised me with this little this lovely little gift bag with a whole bunch of awesome stuff in here what have we got then so we've got okay, some world coins yeah got Indian five rupees What's that? motor of Portugal Portuguese 50 escudos Spanish, 25 pesetas. Italian stallion, 50 lira. And piastres, 50 piastres. Look at that, it's Egyptian. Holy Toledo, that is stunning. Um, a Churchill five pound coin. A WWF 50p. That's very, oh, that must be one of the million that you found in your, <laughs> in the video you found it. And a lucky coin, wishing you luck on everything you do, wishing you health, wealth, and happiness. Well, thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Um, and a little Britain's first decimal coins pack. How cool are they? Lovely. Um, we've got, I assume it's a Christmas card. <laughs> a Dominic the Christmas Donkey Christmas card. That's amazing. It's a Christmas card. It's Merry Christmas from Total Coins. Okay, okay. so Dominic the Christmas Donkey is a Christmas song that we... <laughs> uh, we admit, I must admit now, we, we sing along to in our, the Discord server in voice chat. It's great fun. <laughs> if you've never heard Dominic the Christmas Donkey, you need to go check it out. I blame Chris Moyles. Chris Moyles started it off. Um, and then lastly... Whatever this is. <gasps> no way. I actually was eyeing these up in the post office the other day. So there's Star Wars. Oh, it's both of them as well. Oh, total coins. That is absolutely amazing. It's the new Star Wars stamp set. How awesome are they, though? It's got all these awesome characters. My, the highlight is uh, Grand Moff Tarkin and Count Dooku. I was going to buy it purely because it's got those two on it. And I've got the last last year's set as well somewhere. We've got some vehicles as well. They are so, so cool. Wow. Well, <laughs> some early Christmas presents from some lovely, lovely people. So a massive thank you to you all that, again, that came down. And again, I, I, I will repeat what I've said on previous videos. If you do come down to the Royal Mint, don't feel obliged to bring me anything. I'm more than happy just to have a quick chat with you guys. It was lovely having a chat with so many of you. Um, 
again, I, the, 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 I, I said during the day, the less people came this time, but I totally accept we are getting very close to Christmas, which is a busy time of the year. I've now been down three times in as many months, um, so I appreciate not everyone can make it down um, as regularly as I have been going. Um, but as I said, more than happy to, to uh, say hi to you guys as you can now big thank you to absolute coins who gave me some oreos and some jaffa cake bars as a thank you because i drove him from cardiff um to, to the royal mint so, they, so we could go out for a few drinks afterwards um but it was exceptionally fun i had an amazing weekend and i hope that comes through in some of the videos that i've put together it's getting a bit tricky to record the royal mint because um i've recorded there so many times now this is what trip eight i think eight or nine now um and so it's, it's getting a bit tricky to um figure out what else I can do in terms of recording this. If you've got some ideas, some ways I can spice up a Royal Mint trip uh, video, let me know down in the comments. But as ever, a massive thank you to the staff at the Royal Mint as well. They were all exceptional. If you haven't been to the Royal Mint experience and you're a coin collector, I highly recommend it. Um, even if even if, it, if, you, if you've been before, you will learn something new on, the, on each trip. I learned about uh, how the dyes are made with lasers, melting, uh, they start off at a point and they use lasers to get them flat, which I didn't know about. Um, and they are there was something about abseiling as well. Uh, abseiling, they have to learn how to abseil the people that work there because the coins are kept so high up on shelves, which is <laughs> pretty bonkers. So that's what I learned, took away from the Royal Mint tour this time. But um, I had the same tour guide on the Friday, on the, no, on the Saturday and the, uh, and the Sunday. Um, and she was uh, exceptional, very entertaining tour guide uh, as, as they all are. So um, again, big uh, big uh, thank you to them but also a massive thank you to the guys at the um uh cardiff uh royal mint sh shop i don't have it to hand because it's i think it might still be in the car um i think it's in my glove box they gave we, we they gave us all a we, we well i say we bungle and um absolute coins got chatting to the to, to the staff there um and when they um told them who who we were in terms of making these videos um we we all got chatting with them for, for it was a fair, it was a quite a bit of time though we stood we stood around ch chatting to the staff and they're very lovely people again um so credit to them and they all br they brought us out a bag with uh, a bunk snowman each which is very very kind of them we're very very appreciative of it um so we all when we went 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 to sit down to have some dinner we all signed it uh, signed each of them and we'll be giving them away on our channels um so stay tuned for the uh Quintube assigned snowman bunk giveaway which will be coming um probably now between christmas and new year's on my channel so stay tuned for then because i do have another giveaway that's going live on thursday afternoon which will be live for a, um, a week or two so the more details to follow on thursday um but yeah a massive thank you to them because it was awesome that they've not only just spent the time to have a chat with us but also uh, gave us a free <laughs> a free bunk um and then on the sunday when i turned when i went there um alex from discord i'm sure some of you that are on discord will know um there were these letters to santa and i handed him one to to write to santa and he wrote this <laughs> uh but no, it was awesome, and seeing uh, Steve from Leicester in the Christopher Collects, All I Want for Christmas is Q Jumper was awesome. It was so cool seeing that. Um, seeing someone else wearing it was pretty was pretty cool. I felt I, I, I had to wear it. I wore, I wore it the entire time at the weekend because I felt uh, people aren't going to buy it if, if, if I'm not prepared to wear it, so I've got to wear it, really. Uh, and I love the jumpers. I wear them all the time. I live in them, uh, as you'll see from the live streams. So um, anyway, I'm just rambling now. Uh, what I will do, I will bring the video to an end now. So a massive thank you to the coin tubers, a massive thank you to the new viewers that came along, a massive thank you to the Royal Mint staff in Cardiff and Clantricent, the Royal Mint itself. I had an exceptional weekend, uh, thoroughly enjoyed myself um, and cannot wait to go another time. And as ever, all that leaves me to do is thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.